All right, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. This is a um, little hair salon, but there's water every time it rains or when we get a hard rain, it all runs down here and then right up under that door and it was running right inside the building. Um, the owner put this in, I don't know what was getting accomplished here, but because it's not tied to anything. So what I've got is this NDS tank um, system here, flow well it's called. Now that masking tape is just obviously temporary just to hold that lid because these three pieces go together. You pop all three together, put the lid on, then I've got this extra drain cap and all bought separately. These have several different configurations, but the way I'm gonna do it and what this owner wants, he, he, he didn't wanna spend a whole lot of money I'm going off what he wants me to do. I'm gonna dig a hole right here in this low spot. I'm gonna take some gravel, put it underneath. And then I'm gonna drop this tank down in the hole, put a little gravel around it. And you see I've got these holes in the sides popped out just for weeping. So the water will come in the top, go into this tank and will gradually weep out over time. So basically this is just kind of a, a holding tank as water's building up to give it somewhere to go until it can either stop raining or go on out the side. Now, <clears throat> I'm not gonna have a drain running out into a, um, what, what is the word, a, a French drain. This is only temporarily. So if we have a heavy, heavy downpour and it just keeps coming, it's just gonna fill it up and then gonna run out the top. But that's what they want. They don't, they don't wanna go any further than that. So that's what I'm gonna do. But. That's what I'm doing. Be back in a second. I'm gonna dig this hole. Ain't no point in me video and digging a hole. So I'll dig the hole, get it all set up, and I'll show you what I'm doing. That's the kind of stuff we got around here. They say red dirt, they ain't kidding. All right, she is in the hole and it's just, it's just below the level of this. I've, I've got a level up there I put on this. It's an inch or two below. Now this was just red dirt, red clay all the way. So it's gonna hold water. I mean, you could fill this hole up with water and come back next week. It's probably gonna still be three quarters of the way full. But I still got some room around the edges. I'm gonna pour some gravel in there. But first I'm gonna take this out. It comes with a like a mesh or a netting that goes around it so that things won't back up into those little holes I was talking about. So I'm gonna pull it out, put that on, and then I'll drop it back in the hole and just fill it up with gravel. The hardest part was digging this hole. Um, I think I'm about an hour and a half, two hours in on that hole, but time wasn't bad. It's just digging through the dirt. No roots or rocks. Of course, I had to bust some concrete up right here. But that wasn't too bad. Got that up, dug the hole, set it in, and then um, I'll be out of here in, I don't know, an hour. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this sleeve out and put it on.
right, there it is. There's nothing special about that tape. It's just blue painter's tape. It's just something to temporarily hold that screen while I backfill it. Should do it. I think all that gravel will settle a little bit. That should do what I want to do. Water coming from all around. That's a that's the lowest spot here. I'd have run right in that tank. Maybe 50 to 75 gallons worth of holding zone. But I'm tired. Uh, <clears throat> I'm all done with that. I decided not to make an intro to that video. Because I know how it is when you're out working on something. You go check YouTube real quick, see how something's done. And some joker like me is rambling on for the first two or three minutes. So I figured I'd save it for the end. Um, but it took me, I got here at 9.30, something like that. It's 12.40 now, so three hours. And that tank, that tank and those fittings and all was right around $110, $115. So, and that, that was tough, digging that hole, that red dirt, red clay, it ain't no joke. But it's easier than digging through roots and rocks. You just gotta chip away at it. So if that gives you any idea how long that um, takes, um, the only thing I might would do different, I don't know, that gravel had some sand in it, but it was the gravel that was on site, so that's what I used. And that red clay, you know, it ain't gonna, it, it ain't gonna absorb water very fast at all it's gonna be extremely slow so really all that gravel did was just give it a little bit more of a capacity for that tank so that's that um, I'm on to the next job <laughs>